By now we can all agree that COVID-19 sucks, including the owner of the business on First Street in Wilmer. It's, it's a tough deal for everybody. As the second generation proprietor of a vacuum cleaner store, yep. Trevor Hansen leaned in upon hearing of shortages of masks for healthcare workers. I've made the joke a number of times that I've watched too much MacGyver growing up. Trevor knew masks filter, but so do vacuum cleaner bags. So this is a finished mask. A vacuum cleaner bag mask. And I sat down and made about 25 prototypes I'm um, just trying to come up with the best design. Designed, then recruited more than 40 volunteers working in homes across the Wilmer area. This is what it looks like before. Cutters, making five masks per bag. And sewers, including Trevor's mom. And then they pull apart like this once you put them on. 2,200 masks completed in 36 hours and the phone already ringing. The first nursing home that called me, she told me, she said, um, if we don't, we're going to either have a choice of wearing your masks or no masks. Well, I think uh, even the CDC will say something is better than nothing. John Bishop heads the U of M's Institute for Engineering and Medicine, they, which has designed a mask made of a different filtration material. Recent tests in a U lab found the material close to N95 standards. So this is it. More material just, donated by Cummins Filtration like, you know, is on its way to the U from South Korea. I can't quite see you, Trevor, but I think what you're doing is awesome. Hey, thank you. Respect between problem solvers and an invitation. So one of these Wilmer made masks will soon be on its way to the University of Minnesota for testing. Ingenuity filling a vacuum. Feels good. It does. It does. Feels very good. Boy, Duper, Care 11 News, Wilmer.